get the 2023 Clownfish comic books, including Crimson Wren Volume 1 and previously on Clownfish TV. We're offering a limited number of these books. In our second chance offer, go to shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for Netflix to just cancel The Witcher before it gets any worse, according to Forbes. According to a lot of people, because I guess the next season, not only are they going to replace Henry Cavill with one of the Hemsworths, I don't remember which one, but uh, apparently it's all going to focus on on uh, Siri. Because mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what people want. That's what they want. So there's a rumor that because of the strikes, Netflix might use the opportunity to just cancel this show mm -hmm. completely. And that would be the best course of action. I would agree. Uh, I heard season three is pretty terrible. I haven't watched it. Well, I have no the, desire. season two wasn't that great. Season two was terrible. Season one was decent. I actually like season one. I know they toned down the sex significantly by yeah, season two. But yeah, and then season two was like, what the, uh, the hell are you doing? What the hell are you yeah, doing? Yeah, I was very confused. And then by season three, it was, I mean, I haven't seen season three yet so much I didn't care. And even with Henry Cavill in that outfit, I'm still like not watching it. Henry Cavill was completely confused too. He's probably like, this isn't in the book. This isn't in the book. <laughs> I think that's this why they, the he was, that was why he was toxic. He was mansplaining. God. And people who didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Uh, all right, so we're going to talk about this. Uh, when you've got mainstream media outlets like Forbes telling you to just pull the plug on The Witcher, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It so, is. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! Um, so yeah, this is coming from Forbes. The rumor is season four not only uh, is going to be Cavill free, but it's also going to be all about Siri. I hate to say it, but the time's come. Netflix needs to put The Witcher out to pasture. What I would was, say put it down, but put out it to down. pasture works too. What was once a promising new fantasy series with a rich treasure trove of novels and games to draw from. Well, we just threw all that shit yeah, out the window. That's what they keep doing. Star Wars, same thing. You know, They keep doing that with all these different shows. It's descended into lazy writing, bizarre deviations from the source material, and modern Hollywood's worst bad habits all wrapped in, up into one. Season three of the Dark Fantasy Show has seen the lowest viewership numbers and the lowest review score so far, with every episode rated lower than any episode of season one or two. I'm not surprised. Part of this is almost certainly fan protest over the exit of Henry Cavill. Um, Geralt will be replaced by Liam, Liam. Hemsworth. Yeah, one I, of the Hemsworth. I knew, I knew it was Liam, yeah. Um, fans are understandably upset. Especially how, given how truly lackluster Cavill's final episodes were. He's probably oh. like, I'm not giving it my all anymore, too, because, you know, when he did give it his all, they wouldn't listen to him. Oh, God. Netflix threw Henry Cavill under the bus. Yeah, I heard it, it barely had anything to do with Well, this person, the same writer, really pissed off about it. Yeah. Much of season three's low ratings are simply because it isn't very good. It's not good. And they're slamming the, the people writing the show, right? Um, it feels like the showrunner writers are barely even interested in adapting these stories because they're not. And they just want, said that they just want to create the most generic fantasy ever made. I might be okay with these deviations if the final product was watchable, but it's not. Yeah, this is, this is it guys. Like these writers don't give a shit. They've made it very clear. They don't give a shit. Uh, one of the well, refugees. He did. He uh, did. He, Ken McCavill did, and they got mad. And there were all kinds of rumors that he was a toxic, demanding male, and he was he was Gamergate, and he was he was poisoned by the alt right because yes. he he banged Gina Carano like 15 years ago. We don't know. know he dated her. We don't know if there was anything beyond that. Well, maybe they just painted miniatures together. You don't know that he has to date somebody doesn't mean you're sleeping with them. No, but it's Hollywood. That doesn't mean that. That's true. Maybe they had, um, they were just courting. They were just courting, courting each other. <laughs> Any, anyway, Forbes says, now is the perfect time to put the show out of its misery. Not only is the star gone, the ongoing writers and actors strike means that no production can move forward. The WGA and SAG after unions appear to be a long ways off from any kind of a deal with mm -hmm. the big studios and producers. And that means new content is about to dry up. Unless now, you're an independent studio and yeah. then you can still work. This and is their out. listers then you can still work. Yeah. Unless you're an A-lister, right? Uh, but this is their out, guys. This is their out. This is, we told you. This is what's going to happen. 
Netflix and Disney and uh, Amazon and all these other studios, Warner Brothers, they're going to look at all the stuff that they have in the pipeline that they know is going to be hot trash, hot, expensive trash that nobody's going to watch. They're going to be like, yeah, yeah, let's just uh, cancel that because whoopsie doopsie, uh, uh, force majeure. That's what we're, well, yep, act of God. Who could have seen that coming? Who could have seen that coming? I guess we're just not going to do any more Witcher. Yeah, it's been it's been a real pleasure. Guys, see ya. Hit the road. Hit the road. And then those writers will never work again in Hollywood. Because they've like destroyed. They well, did. that's just it. They, they, they keep doing this. Yeah. And one of the, the people that worked on the show the first season is actually the showrunner of uh, X-Men 97. Yeah, that's now. what I was thinking about. Yeah. And he was talking about how awful it was that all the people working on the show, with the exception of like him and Henry Cavill, obviously hated the books obviously hated the games it's like why are you here why are you here just leave will the company do soul searching about the, why the series has fallen so completely from grace or are we just doomed to repeat the same problem over and over again i think they'll get rid of it i think so too and now's the opportunity to do so yep um because according to let's see here bounty in the comics had an article on it uh said that the executive producer is confirming that siri is going to take Center stage in season four. That's how we're going to make up for the lack of Henry Cavill. Because, you know, it works so great with Lord of the Rings. It worked fantastic with Lord of the Rings. Yeah. So I I think they're right. I think now is a good time to just pull the plug. And I think we're going to see a lot of shitty shows have the plug pulled on them over the next couple months because they can. And that's what I think the purpose, the purpose of the strike is that the studio? It's not that the studios completely disagree with the actors and the writers. The purpose of this strike, in my opinion, is to undo bad decisions, to unfuck the pregnant lady, mm-hmm. right? They they greenlit a lot of shows. They hired a lot of activists. They spent a lot of money on shit that nobody is going to watch. That's actually embarrassing and brand damaging. And now they have the means and the excuse to just walk it back, cancel it. You know, I they had a spinoff too. What that spin? What was the spinoff? It was like LARPing in the woods. It's like D and D LARPing or something. Oh some yeah, shit. they did that. And it, it did terrible. Something, something. Dawn of I don't know. They when they greenlit this, they thought they had found their next Game of Thrones. That was the plan. They're like, well, the thing is, it could have been. It could have been. It could have been. But you fucked it up. And Netflix, you have nobody to blame but yourselves for letting these writers run rampant. And you could have at any point in time put your foot down and said, yeah, hey, no, this is nothing like the books and the games that made us interested in the IP in the first place. Why are you changing everything? But they're probably afraid of them. Or they greenlit so much stuff they weren't paying attention to what was actually going on. There needs to be somebody at Netflix. Well, this one I'm sure they pay attention to because it's The Witcher. But they weren't paying attention to the day-to-day and to see what, you know, make sure it was it was – going to translate well to the audiences would like. And they keep like not doing they, All they heard was diversity inclusion initiatives. Yeah. And so, you know, we gotta, we gotta turn, turn the, you know, tame this down, make it about the women. Like Poland is so diverse. I had no idea. Mm-hmm. I had no idea. It was that diverse, you know, but like all of these shows, if they had somebody paying attention at Netflix, and I think they trusted these people to just do it on their own. They weren't. <laughs> that, dude, that sums up a lot of the problems lately. They just trusted these people. Yeah. You can pretty much track back everything that they've ruined. To, they just let them do what they wanted and trusted them to do it right. Masters of the universe. If, if somebody came to me and said, hey, we're going to put a He-Man show on your platform, but we're going to sideline He-Man, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and fans are going to love it because he man's well, going to barely be in it. But Tila is a really popular character. If they had said like, this is what happens. We're going to sideline him temporarily. So we can take, let's else take over for a bit to see what, what would they do if he man wasn't there? And they could have done that and been upfront about it, but they didn't. No, they didn't. If they had sold it to the fans like that, they had set the expectation. People, they, they, they assumed that people wouldn't yeah. go if it was women, which is also a, a big, a shitty assumption on their part. Isn't it for people who are so big about, we got to change everything to put a woman in it. And then they wouldn't stand by it enough to even advertise it correctly. I think that it was one of those, oh shit moments. They're probably like, okay, we're going, going, going. And then they're like, oh shit, these shows are effed up and there's nothing they can do about it at that point. You know, they can't fix it. So what's going to happen, I think with Netflix in particular, 
is they're gonna have fewer shows, but they're probably gonna have more oversight and be like, we gotta see where you're at with this thing. Cause if this show is dog shit, if it's Cowboy Bebop or, or it's- Or they'll just know, do, you know, what we think they're gonna do, what these studios are gonna do and start letting other people make the films, yeah. watch the shows and films first and make sure it's not, it's not gonna be, you know, audience chasing. Except for cuties, that one totally right, Yeah, right. That and then they're going pass. to put it on there, but everybody yeah, else has to put the bow. But that, yeah, that's it. And then they can always pass the buck and be like, hey, th they did it on their own. We just uh, we just distributed it, whatever. But yeah, I think now is a perfect time to just cancel Witcher 4, especially and if it's going to be a series show. And you can blame them, too. It was them. They did it, not us. Yeah. Yo, 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 Sam, yo, yo, whatever. All right, we're going to wrap it up. Yep, could have wrapped up a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.